Walter White is a, is a tremendous young person. He's easily one of the more well-liked guys that I've coached because he's such a great teammate. He's a humanitarian. He loves people. Uh, he wants to help people. He's someone that's, that's really dependable, cares about the people around him, always got a great big smile on his face. You know, he's, he's just a pleasure to be around. I think all our guys would say that. This summer, I had an internship at Harvard, at the Harvard School of Public Health, and uh, I was a research assistant, so I just kind of was hands-on and helped out with small projects that they were working on, mostly focusing on buildings and environmental studies. When him and I spoke about some ideas of what he might want to do, his whole thing was he wanted to help people. And so I have a, I have a buddy that actually lives on my street, and um, Joe's a good friend of mine, and, and Joe is in the field of public health, and I thought that would be a great field for Walter to kind of embark on and see if there were some things that, that he might be interested in. And he had a wonderful experience, and Joe would text me or call me very often and tell me how much the people in the office enjoyed Walter and his presence. So I, I took the time, I went out to lunch with him, and we talked about public health, what you could do with that field, and where I can go from there. And, and I always wanted to help people and just make an impact on people's lives. And, and health was always my first type of love when I was growing up. I was a big fan of Ben Carson, his neurosurgeries and stuff like that. And once I got older with basketball, it kind of took me away from that. And then I kind of still wanted to make an impact in the, in the health field. And Dr. Joe Allen was there to just kind of, you know, line me back up. And this is something that I could possibly do long term. And in my research, do research on healthy buildings, trying to link buildings, building systems, material selection, and how those are going to influence indoor environmental quality. Because ultimately what we care about is how that indoor environmental quality is going to impact human health. It's a very diverse group, so that was kind of big for me, you know, just meeting people from different backgrounds all over the world, trying to do something bigger than themselves. So a lot of New York City buildings have greenhouse gas emissions that they have, and then they wanted to take down 50% by the year 2030. So I would do, I was doing research on just kind of how much output they're putting out on the buildings. And from there, then we, they, they kind of took the step. I was more just a preliminary researcher, just getting a lot of feedback and notes and, and just writing everything down I can find from primary sources, learning about what these buildings' gas emissions are. And, and, and I would just pretty much do the preliminary research for that. Just seeing how Dr. Joe Allen, how he's so prominent in the field, you know, because he's like Monday, he, he was uh, in the same position as me, kind of not knowing what he wanted to do, but he wanted to help people. And then public health was, was that avenue for him. And I, I see that as a, a very big role model for me to see someone like that just doing such big things in the field. His mother is someone I have enormous respect for. First of all, she is hilarious, right? So. Every time I talk to her, we always have a nice chuckle, but what a, what a terrific woman. Just someone that I think is really smart, you know, understands life and what's important and has really, I think, really instilled the right things in Walt in terms of what's real and what's important. And it's about relationships, it's about people, it's about growing. Those are things that, you know, from talking to her, she just has such a great perspective on life. And I think that that, that has really translated into who, who Walt is. Walt is, is really much a part of her. She's had a huge hand in his development as a person. My mother, she's a social worker. She's been a social worker for 20 plus years. And then just kind of seeing her work hard and kind of just impact people's lives in a, in a hands-on way, just kind of making sure the children and families are just going through the right things and, and just helping place children into better situations if they're not in a good situation. And just being, just being very helpful, you know, putting herself first. And then that kind of just rubbed off on me that I always wanted to be that type of person.